This is as close to perfection as you can get. Do you want to learn how to turn this frozen nugget into this extremely addictive bacon wrapped snack? If you aren't wrapping your nuggets in bacon, now that should be illegal. <laughs> Yum. Let's get into it. Today, we are grilling bacon wrapped chicken nuggets. Now, cooking time for this video will be 30 minutes. Or for those of you who love to follow my beer timer, you're looking at a one beer cook. Cheers. What happens when you combine one of the most popular foods on this planet, that being a chicken nugget, with the next most popular food on this planet, that being bacon? You may want to sit down. I think we're about to create a superfood. And prepping these could not be any simpler. Open a box of chicken nuggets to reveal a bag of chicken nuggets. Cut open the bag of chicken nuggets and get them out. Ta-da! Now for those playing at home, I'm using Ian's chicken nuggets. And these are raw chicken. So they need to be cooked properly to an internal temp of 74 degrees Celsius. Ta da Push them to one side. And now we need some streaky bacon. And now I found this Australian streaky bacon in Coles works really well, and you'll see why. Because it's all uniformed in shape. Now just lay some bacon down and wrap the little nuggets up. Ta da And place them on a baking tray. Did you know the first person to ever cure and cook up some pork and call it bacon, was a Swedish chef. No one really knows a lot about him because he sort of spoke a lot of gibberish. By giving this video a thumbs up, you're helping me take over the world. <laughs> What's a bacon wrapped nugget without seasoning? Well, it's still a pretty tasty treat. But while we're here, we may as well seem like we're actually creating something. Enter the heavenly hell, moist as clock rub. Seasoned smut. Now just give every bacon wrapped nugget a good dusting of whatever barbecue rub you want. Just make sure you apply it from around 30 centimeters above your food. This just allows the particles in the rub time to separate. And you end up with more even coverage and no clumping. And once they are all seasoned, and yes, one side is enough, just place them aside while we get the barbecue ready. Every time you share my videos, you are getting me closer to being seen by Gordon Ramsay or Uncle Roger. Today, I'm using a 57 centimeter Weber kettle and I'm pairing it up with a kettle cone because I wanna be cooking with an indirect grilling temp of 240 degrees Celsius today. And how I'll do that is by three quarter filling a chimney starter with briquettes. I'll light up a couple of fire lighters and place the chimney on top. And once the briquettes are all lashed over and ready to use, place the kettle cone in the middle of the charcoal grate and then dump the lit fuel into it. I'll carefully place the grill back in place. Then put the lid back on, opening all the vents and we're gonna give that grill 10 minutes to warm up. Now, if you don't own a Weber kettle, you can always cook these in an air fryer. I just don't know how many briquettes you should use in an air fryer. The grill has had 10 minutes to warm up, so we can spray it with some oil. And then we can add the bacon wrapped chicken nuggets around the outer edge of the cooking grate. As this is where the high heat from that kettle cone is being forced, And once the nuggets are all lined up and ready, we can add one chunk of cherry wood to give these nuggets a smoky kick. And slam that lid down for no other reason but to let your neighbours know you're barbecuing again. Everyone who subscribes to my channel will be able to see my videos for free. If you didn't know, the Weber lid vent creates a hot spot as that cold oxygen is sucked in through the bowl vents up and around that fuel. It is then forced back out that lid vent. So to ensure an even cook, I recommend turning the lid a third of the way every 10 minutes during the cook. The food directly under the lid vent will cook faster because that's where all that heat is concentrated to. So if you don't move the lid vent around, you're going to burn some bacon. Don't be a bacon burner. 
You know those pivotal times in history that you know exactly where you were when it happened? This is gonna be one of those times. Well, unless you're drunk or high, then you're not gonna remember this at all, are you? Look at them, perfect little explosions of happiness for your mouth hole. How good does that look? Nice. And just get them off the grill and onto a plate. Now you can choose to dive in straight away and receive third degree burns in your mouth. Or give them a couple of minutes and let them cool down. Leave me a comment if you want to see more bacon wrapped goodness. Now it's up to you what sauces you want to serve with these, if any. I personally prefer to raw dog mine because I don't want to make mine moist, smut. If these aren't part of your next party, is it really a party? Oh. Mm-hmm.